We're back with the Yamaha Virago 250, and we've got some saddlebags we need to mount up. The problem is, we need to keep them away from the tires and the chain. Welcome to Hack a Week. So Lisa's got these saddlebags she wants put on her bike, but the problem is if you just hang them over the rear fender and tuck them under the rear seat, there's a spot right here where they like to rub against the tire. You can see they just kind of flop around and they hit the tire here and they hit the chain right there, which is not good at all. So we need to come up with a way to keep them from doing that. And I tried one of those universal mount kits. That was pretty much a piece of junk that didn't work at all on this bike, maybe on some bikes it will, but I've got an idea that I think might work by putting a piece of flat stock aluminum between the signal light mount and the rear control arm and I think even with the suspension moving up and down it'll still work to keep the saddlebag away from everything. So, you know, let's give it a try and see what we come up with. So these things mount up pretty easy. Uh, it's just a zipper that holds them on. Not much to it. You can take them off and then you can gain access to the inside and get your goodies out of there. And there's a strap that goes over the top here and the rear little itty bitty seat just kind of squishes down on all this stuff and holds them in place. I've had these on before and it's a real pain in the butt to tighten everything down because it really has to squish all this stuff pretty damn tight. Um, but you know, they're what she wants on here, so we're gonna see if we can make it work. So what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna just take a piece of that flat stock and put it up here where the signal light mount is, drill a hole through it, let it just hang down like right here, and push against the control arm. Because the fender has an angle that comes straight down, when I tighten up the uh, signal light on that piece of metal, it'll just kind of push into the control arm right here. So, you know, as time goes by and you ride around and it bounces up and down, sure, it's gonna put a little bit of wear mark on the paint on the control arm. But you know, it's a really, really simple solution and I think it just might work. Because the alternative would be to make a little frame that hangs down here like this somehow. And I got a feeling that's just gonna vibrate around and be a little strange and not really get the job done the way I want. So, first order of business will be to pull off this light and uh, see what size hole I need to drill in the piece of metal and do that and then stick it on there and just basically see if it works. So to get at the wiring for the signal light, which kind of runs inside the fender and goes underneath the seat, I've got to pull the seat. On this bike, the seat is held on with two uh, six millimeter bolts with a 10 millimeter head on them. It's not really a, a seat that's meant to be popped off easily and used for storage underneath at all. It's a really basic little bike. It's a great bike to learn on. Uh, it's uh, Lisa's first bike. So pretty lightweight. Uh, can't really get in trouble with it because the acceleration's pretty minimal. So you can't really accidentally pull a 12 o'clock wheelie <laughs> with this bike. So let's see here. We'll pull this off. And sure enough, right here is where the harness comes through for the two tail lights. So if I just undo all this, it's color coded, pretty easy to put back together. No worries there. Let's just pull the wires off. And now we'll get down underneath here, snake it back through, pull this light off, and figure out what size hole I need to drill in my aluminum flat stock. So let's duck down under here and take a look at what we've got under the rear fender and up in here where it's kind of hard to get the camera, but I think I can do it. There we go. Right there you can see the signal light comes through right here. This is the wire and it runs through these little clips right here that run down the fender and lean forward to the seat. So if I put the camera up in there, you can see where it goes and eventually pokes its way up to underneath the seat. So what I need to do is just pull this harness out of these little clips, which I don't think will be too difficult. 
Let me uh, give it a little try here. Sorry for all the jiggly camera work, but it's really hard to get the thing down in here. Uh, I think I just kind of have to work it up and out. So here's the wire and it leads up to the signal light right there and there is a nut on the back side of that signal light fixture right there. It's a 17 millimeter. I'll loosen that up. It's really not that tight. I'm just kind of spin that off with my fingers. And the uh, nut will come off and actually uh, I have to take it off all the way off the harness. As you can see right here, it has to just, all the wires have to come right through it. So the nut's off. Now it's all loose and I should be able to just pull it out. And there it is. So there's the hole where it used to be. That's the uh, size hole I need to drill. Probably about uh, a half inch drill bit will do the trick. So we'll go out to the shop now and uh, do the drilling. Well, actually, I guess I should measure the piece first and then we'll drill it. Okay, let's take a look at what we've got here. We need to go from here to here, but we wanna go past it. Right now, the bike is fully unweighted. I don't really think the suspension will drop too much more, even if you did a little air time with the bike, <laughs> which wouldn't be too desirable on this thing. So if I cut this piece to, uh, 15 inches, let's say, that's just below the control arm. And that leaves just a little bit sticking up above there. So I think that'll be about right. Let's do that and then we'll drill a hole in the top of it. We're gonna round it off and make it look nice. And then we're just gonna bolt it back on there and see what it does. It's about that simple. I love simple solutions. All right, marked at 15 inches. Let's slice that off. Now we need to just pick a drill size, the same as this. Let's go with uh, 15 60 fourths. Yep, I think that'll do it. Put that in the drill and get a hole punched in there. Let's get a center punch mark on here. Fire up the drill, get a hole in here. Let's see how that works out. Feed our wire harness through there. Wow, perfect. All right. Oh, looks like it wants to come out a little bit. So I may need to bend that a little bit. Looks like I have to bend it up here at the top, put a little bit of a bend that way in the aluminum so that it will load into the uh, to the control arm, because I don't want it just flopping around free. It's going to end up rattling, and uh, that won't be good. I got a bit of a bend in it now. You can see there. And I'll mount it up against the frame like that, and hopefully that will load up enough against the trailing arm here. All right, let's try mounting this up. See what we get. I think this will do the trick. Yes, that's a little better. It forces it against the control arm a little bit. Let's tighten down the nut. And then we'll throw a saddlebag on there and see what it does. And of course, after I get it tight, I'll jump on here and push up and down on the suspension a bit. Make sure that's gonna stay in place okay. 
really wouldn't want that to move around too much and potentially get caught in a spoke or something, but I really don't think that's going to happen. Okay, it's pretty tight. I really don't think that's going to move at all. Let's give it a bounce here. Let's see what we got. You know, I think that would be okay. Worst case is it's going to wear a little paint off from the trailing arm. pretty good. Let's try throwing a saddlebag on and see if it actually keeps it away from all the moving parts. Well, that's not bad. It doesn't touch the rear uh, tire at all. This mount isn't too bad, but the bags tend to still flop around a little. So I've got an idea with the snaps I mentioned earlier. If I could just put a snap right there, it would help a lot. Because it would just keep everything kind of stable, not so much jiggling around. I've got some of those. They're right here. You can buy them at uh, any good hardware store that carries all the nitty gritty cool stuff that the big boxes don't. And they come in a package like this. They come with the uh, arbor to smash them into the uh, fabric part and then these are screw snaps so they have the screw with them for the part that would go on the fender so the way I would install these is drill a hole right through this fabric right into the fender then I'll install the snap on the fender and use the little arbor to install the snap onto the fabric and then I can just snap it into place and all will be well with the saddlebags. Okay, so here we go. This is uh, this is the part where there's no turning back. I'm gonna drill a hole in the fender and I'm gonna try to center it right about there on the fabric. Punch a hole through the fabric first. Get an idea of where it is on the fender. Hmm. I actually don't like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and come up just a little on the fender because of the diameter of the snap. If I put it where that hole is, it'll actually be a little below the lip. I don't want that. So we'll come up just a little, right about there. That's that. Now we'll install the snap with the screw in it right into the fender. And be careful not to over tighten it. We don't want to strip the threads out. Now I'm going to pull all this back off so that I can get the arbor onto the uh, floor to give it a good whack with the screwdriver and make sure that it all seats in well. So I need to pull this seat back off. I need a bigger hole through here, so I've got a 964th drill bit. Ideally, a leather punch would be the uh, thing to use here, but I don't have one. 
There was a time when the leather punch was in everybody's house because it was a common, common tool to use. So the way this will work is the uh, shiny part will go on the outside and the snap will go on the back side. But I'm going through two layers here and I really don't think that these snaps have a long enough shank on them to uh, do the trick as far as the snap being able to get squished on there. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is on this back side I need to take an X-Acto blade and actually cut out a circle to allow some room for this to get pushed onto the uh, snap. It's only got about, you know, I don't know, four millimeters of room there. So I'll just cut that portion out and I think that should do the trick. Okay, good old number 11 X-Acto blade here, brand new one. I'll just slice out a circle here. Being careful not to cut all the way through and not to cut the stitching. There we go, I just lift out that little piece. Now I should be able to poke this through the hole far enough. Okay, now let's put the arbor in place and we'll put the snap on top. And yes, indeed, there's enough metal poking through there now where this portion can actually get on there and squish it. Now I need to get a hammer and just give this a solid whack. I'll show you the basic instructions here on the video. So if you want to pause them and read it and see what you're in store for, this is pretty much it. This is how this whole thing works. Okay, so let's uh, zoom in a little so you can see what's going on. Now I'll just take this, poke it down on there, put the arbor in place, hold it there and give it a good whack with the hammer. And that should do it. It squished it out nice and flat. Let me give you a close-up shot of what we just did there. You can see that it basically peened over that part poking through and holds this part on. And now that can snap into place on the piece I put on the fender. And on the other side, it just looks like a nice shiny button. Okay, back on the bike, stretched over the rear uh, signal lights, turn signals. All we do is just snap it into place. There we go. It's going to stay there, much more stable than it was before. Let's go ahead and put the saddlebag back on. Hey, there we go. How about that? Stays in place much better. I've got a GoPro mounted up to the control arm. Let's go take a drive and see what the saddlebags do.
it looks like that worked out great. They're staying in place just fine. It's a good deal. We got saddlebags on the Virago. Till next time. We're back with the Virago 250 Yamaha Gucci Makaluchi. That's the thing.